I see it. What happened? You saw differently. The words didn't change. You did. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraut. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, not everyone is going to like me. In fact, some people dislike me. But this is not my responsibility, whether someone likes me or not. There are certain things that have been given to me, and for whatever reason, it's not been given to someone else. I'm responsible to preach and believe those things. And that's my job. You know, I have some things to say. But listen, it will remain outside of the grasp of those who are not Holy Ghost worshipers. You have to worship the Holy Ghost to get what I'm saying. James chapter 3, verse 5. Even so, the tongue. Say, even so, even so. The, tongue the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindles he is likening your tongue to a fire you got to get this this is where we're going today and the tongue is a fire say the tongue is a fire. Tongue's a fire a world of iniquity and so is the tongue among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature now the course of where's nature it's out in the woods and it's here it's on earth say it's on earth. it's on earth so we have a tongue that can set on fire the course of nature a tongue that sets things on fire on earth are you here yes now stay with me and he says that this fire this tongue is a world of iniquity and can we see that in the world in the natural order of things where you have people with their tongues setting things on fire yeah. in iniquity by the things they say but there's another side to this and I hope as you know like I said if you don't worship the Holy Ghost you might not even understand what I'm talking about but in this room of Holy Ghost worship things are flipped things are different in here listen to me things are different in here they're flipped the Bible talks about it being like as in a mirror when you look at an image in a mirror what is it it's flipped everything's the other way there's another side to this and in the room of Holy Ghost worship things are flipped and you see them differently say I see them, I see them. differently, differently. It's inverted your thinking is inverted flipped here it says your tongue is the tongue is a fire a world of iniquity well in here your tongue is a fire a world of righteousness a whole world of righteousness say a whole world, a whole world. of righteousness. righteousness how many times have I preached on this that your tongue this is how what righteousness is mm -hmm. say not in your heart what do you say the word what is that the righteousness of God yeah. is you saying the word mm -hmm. there's a whole world of righteousness that's set on fire with your tongue mm -hmm. does this make sense yeah. it's inverted it's flipped we see the oh, it's a world of iniquity when I see it I go it's flipped there's a world of righteousness for me with my tongue and the fire it creates and this is where we are going get that straight we move out into and walk in a world of righteousness set on fire 
there it says of hell what's the flip of hell heaven set on fire of heaven speaking in line with heaven we walk in a world of righteousness set on fire of heaven with our tongues are you still here yes. again it's an inversion that's an inversion yeah you got that right well we can see here the beginning and the sparks of a new way of a new living of a new reality we shall terraform this entire place is that even possible all things are possible to him that believes what if almost everything you thought you knew about the end of days and how things would end was completely wrong can you imagine that you were brought up in these religious circles and you had these ideas and you knew it all didn't you mm -hmm. oh, I knew it all I read all the books uh -huh. but were you worshiping the Holy Ghost at the time no so what you were thinking could possibly be wrong yeah. and it might need to be inverted and in reality it's most likely wrong simply because you weren't in the place to receive what was right you couldn't handle the truth couldn't handle the truth <laughs> you weren't in the place of understanding or yet ready to understand it and I've even said it tonight and you've heard me say it over and over in the room of Holy Ghost worship everything is different everything is flipped everything is inverted mm -hmm. still truth you're looking at but you see it differently say I see it, I see it. Differently. differently you ever go I see it and you're looking at the same thing for the last 40 years and all of a sudden you're like I see it what happened you saw differently the words didn't change you did mm -hmm. when you enter the room of Holy Ghost worship I worship you Holy Ghost I worship he begins to change you from glory to glory and the next glory causes you to see things differently not the same you know that's what differently means right yes. say differently, differently means not the same, it's not the same. everything in here is different it's a different room second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or the spirit is lord there is liberty mm -hmm. there's liberty there that you didn't have before mm -hmm. you have the liberty to see things and understand understand things and comprehend things that you could not before you had no liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord he says beholding as in a what a glass what does your Bible say Mirror beholding as in a mirror that's what he really means right you're looking at the glory of the Lord in a mirror it's flipped mm -hmm. you want to walk in the glory of the Lord everything's gonna be flipped sorry but it is I don't like it that way well then you don't have to like it that way you can just stay where you are but it's different it's mirror opposite you ever see something when it shines the, the your actual image of how you would look back at you you end up poking yourself in the eye because it doesn't make any sense anymore mm -hmm. it's backwards it's opposite mm -hmm. it's opposite you <laughs> now the Lord is that spirit this is different that's different and number one there's a liberty to see and understand that which you couldn't before does that make sense yeah. and so much of this is just just like being in a mirror you're looking at the same thing the same scripture that everybody else is but it's inverted and you see it different and then you try to explain it to them and they look at you like you have two heads and they say things like 
you're twisting the scriptures I'm not twisting the scriptures you've already twisted it up so much that when I straighten it out you think I'm twisting it and really it's just your understanding of them and I'm stretching your understanding of it glad you came consider this statement the elements will melt with fervent heat have you ever heard that mm -hmm. the elements will melt with fervent heat most everybody goes oh, oh I know what that's talking about mm -hmm. do you remember we talked about the fire the tongue being a fire mm -hmm. a world of iniquity setting on fire the course of what nature nature's divide is made up of elements are you here I'm trying to trying to bring you along and the elements will melt with fervent heat in the end of days the earth was first destroyed what by a flood the second that comes is what fire the first time came a flood the second comes a fire and the elements melt with fervent heat the fire doesn't destroy me the fire doesn't destroy my life it means it has to be a different kind of fire than just natural fire why would be God talking about natural fire he's not it's the fire of God say it's, it's the fire of God. fire of God and I build my life out of this fire my tongue is a fire a world of righteousness and I'm building my life out of it and that fire doesn't destroy me Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting verse 3 and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire sat upon each of them right and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance this is when the Holy Ghost came into the earth mm -hmm. and they began to speak as he gave them utterance but there was also the sign of a tongue of fire resting upon each of them that would have been the beginning and it says and they all began to speak it was the beginning of speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost a fire their tongue was set on fire and they began to walk in righteousness but it was just the beginning it wasn't the end is this the end it's just the beginning of the age of the Holy Ghost walking with him mm -hmm. it's a spark tongues like as a fire they began it's literally just the first flicker it was not the end of the age but it's still the fire of God mm -hmm. say just the, beginning, just the beginning not the end, not the end. could the disciples know the end no because they were walking in the beginning That's right. can we know the end if this is the end of days we certainly can yeah. which is why some of these things have not been unveiled or revealed until this day that's not the end the beginning was fire say the beginning was fire the, beginning was fire. the, end, is fire. the end is fire are you here what if you are the fire that ends it all Acts chapter 2 verse 4 said the tongue was like as of fire as they began to speak but that's the beginning fire but the end fire is obviously what happens when you when you kindle a fire it's very small at first mm -hmm. but then it consumes everything as it gets bigger yes. but the fact is you have to do something about it don't get mad at me I'm just the messenger okay get mad at me I don't yeah. care see it's not my that's not my problem first Peter chapter 4 verse 17 for the time has come judgment must begin in the house of God the first judgment came how the first judgment came by water the second judgment comes by fire judgment must begin in the house of God 
if it first begin at us what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God it's not gonna be good say judgment, judgment. some of you start to put all this together already where does judgment begin in the house of who's the house of God we are the house of God we are the temple of God oh and you don't have anything to do with it yes you do you know people want justice but judgment is different judgment is fire and this fire must come to the house of God first and if I am a leader and I like to think of myself as one mm -hmm. me first say me first. me first now most people don't want to go here because they think judgment is somehow bad mm -hmm. for the believer judgment is fire and that fire doesn't destroy you that fire makes you what you are supposed to be the time has come that the judgment must begin at the house of God and if it first begin if if it first begin at us what shall the end be for them who obey, obey not the gospel judgment we're talking about judgment here yeah and if I embrace this judgment which is the fire of God are you still here yeah. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 and this is John the Baptist talking I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that comes after me is mightier than I whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire Holy Ghost and fire Holy Ghost first fire later whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor thoroughly purge it he's fanning what is he fanning it's too hot out so he needs a no he's fanning the flames of the fire he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner and he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire who's doing this the Holy Ghost in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost say in the dispensation, in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost where are we we are in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost he is fanning the flame he's gonna thoroughly purge the floor where do you suppose the floor is the earth is you did your Bible say that yeah in this dispensation he's going to thoroughly purge the floor by what fire don't yell that in a theater are you here are you getting any of this what is he gonna use to purge his floor fire you're the first one to be purged by it yeah. right mm -hmm. and he will completely destroy you by this fire no he's gonna thoroughly purge you you will be walking in a different way yeah. and fire and glory are very often interchangeable in the scripture so you will be purified by the fire of his glory refined by it and he goes on and says and he will burn up the chaff with an unquenchable fire the chaff is not you you are not the chaff sounds an awful lot like judgment to me does it not yeah but this is now in this dispensation this ends differently than you think well I've never seen it like that before Hebrews 12 28 wherefore are we we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved did it say when we die and go to heaven yeah. when are you receiving the kingdom now wherefore are we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved let us have grace whereby we may serve God God who the Holy Ghost. God the Holy Ghost acceptably with reverence and godly fear for our God is a consuming fire when you die and go to heaven is that what he said no is a consuming fire 
hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 for he that comes to god must believe that he is our god is a consuming fire i believe that he is a consuming fire and that he is a rewarder this consuming fire is a rewarder of me because i diligently seek him yeah. are you getting this mm -hmm. the fire doesn't destroy me the fire rewards me what does it do to the sinner it burns them up yeah. that just burns me <laughs> are you here yes. but this all just happens when we die and go to heaven yeah. if that's what you think then you really don't have any part of this and you're not even you're not even playing in the game they tell you not to play with fire but that's what we're playing with brother you're playing with fire this is now and it ends differently than we were taught did you hear that yes our god is a consuming fire presently yeah that's why when he came into the earth there was a beginning spark manifestation of the fire that came with him mm -hmm. if he is that there has to be that yes so do you know god this way as a consuming fire as an all-consuming fire you will one way or another and i'm not talking after we get all raptured or something else and then you know and then and then and then god does all this you know magical stuff that's easy to believe because nobody's around it's just oh yeah 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 no this is different what if it's the fire of god that brings judgment it's the fire of god that brings judgment whatever what other fire would it be mm -hmm. right. first time by flood second time by fire mm -hmm. are you starting to get this at all and he's going to purify the earth with it thoroughly purge his floor say thoroughly purge. thoroughly purge that sounds like it's thorough and gather the wheat into the garner oh that's in the end of, no this is the end of time yeah. when is he going to gather the wheat in before you before you die and go to heaven are you here yeah. what is wrong with people they get so religious they can't hear the truth you didn't gather anything while you were in heaven it's gathered on the earth and can you see that fire has a part to do with it and that's literally what the holy ghost said he was going to do when he came into the earth john the baptist said that jesus will come and baptize you with the holy ghost and fire thoroughly purge the floor and gather the wheat into his garner using fire see it's easier to accept something if it doesn't require anything of you you just put it off to the future that's why everything gets put off till heaven or to some other dispensation i don't have anything to do with it and it's too much change for most people but listen our god is an all-consuming fire who is he going to consume first you the church the believer the temple of god he's going to all consume you is that going to destroy you no that's going to make you what you are called to be you're going from one glory of fire to another glory of fire and he rewards you in it because you know him that way he's a fire what are you turning into a fire yeah. say I'm turning into, I'm turning into a, fire. a fire what kind of fire the fire of God mm -hmm. you might not be able to handle it yet but I'm telling you you keep worshiping the Holy Ghost you'll see it mm -hmm. second Peter chapter 3 and then 
verse 6 whereby the world that was then was being overflowed with water perished right that's the first judgment yeah. verse 7 but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and the and perdition of ungodly men reserved for fire yeah. verse 8 but beloved that's you be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day mm -hmm. if we take that literally one day could literally mean a thousand years so whatever he's doing for one day he's doing for a thousand years mm -hmm. does that make sense and the Lord is not slack concerning his promise and I know this is difficult for please listen I know this is difficult for people to understand in here but he is promising to use fire to judge not just you but the entire earth it's a promise yeah. can you see that yeah. and he's not slack concerning it because he wants to bring everybody in that he can into the fire where they not so it can destroy them but so they can be delivered by it yeah. purified by it refined by it glorified by it mm -hmm. the Lord is not slack concerning his promise this is his promise verse 8 it says a thousand years as is one day are you ready for this verse 10 but the what the day, the day of the Lord say the day, of the, Lord. the day of the Lord is it possible that that day might not just be a single day that we think it is mm -hmm. he literally two verses in front of that said the day that a day is a thousand years and then he says the uh, the day of the Lord mm -hmm. will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat the earth and also the works that are in shall be burnt up with what fire the fire of God it's a promise of God of the fire of God of the Holy Ghost are you here the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and that literally means people caught unawares mm -hmm. they were unaware yeah. right and Jesus even said if you knew what hour the thief was coming in you wouldn't have let him break in right. you would have ch -ch -ch and said, get out of here mm -hmm. a thousand years is one day the day of the Lord unawares people are unaware that it's happening mm -hmm. verse 11 seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons you ought to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God say looking for, looking for. And, hastening. and hastening hastening what does hastening mean bringing it to pass you looking for it and you cause it to come to pass more quickly you're hastening it but people are being caught unawares could that be possible even today in this dispensation stop trying to put this off to some other dispensation when did we flip dispensations in my religious thinking we did but we didn't they're caught unawares everything is burnt up all of their evil is burnt up mm -hmm. our God is a somewhat consuming fire no our God is an all-consuming fire yeah. verse 11 what manner of life ought you to live looking for and hastening you bring it in you bring it say I bring it what are you bringing the judgment and fire of God yeah. you first are you still here yeah. who's first use first you first and then the world the promise is fire can you see that is the promise fire 
seems yes. like a strange promise doesn't it mm -hmm. only if you think it's bad mm -hmm. yeah. and that's what we thought is the church it's bad am I wrong verse 13 might as well read some more nevertheless we say nevertheless we, nevertheless, we. according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwells righteousness this fire you receive burns up all of the unrighteousness and what are you left with righteousness. a new earth wherein dwells righteousness nevertheless we are active participants in this looking for the new heaven and the new earth terraformed in righteousness by the fire of God that we walk in question when you walk in the fire of God is this possible first of all if it's not well let's just go home if you walk in the fire of God and when you walk in the fire of God which has burned up all remaining vestiges of unrighteousness mm -hmm. what are you walking in your world now is righteousness it's a new world it's a new earth the heaven looks new the earth looks new everything looks new when you're walking in righteousness on this side of the fire of God I'm telling you this is a complete change from what I used to believe and it was much easier to just believe that it will all happen to for someone else in some other day in some other time but that's not scriptural and almost everything in this room is flipped it's inverted it's different now and I know it's difficult to believe because we had all been taught up other things all the time but it's what was delivered to me and I must say it mm -hmm. Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people and letting those words seep in and thoroughly purge the floor we walk with you Holy Ghost we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost you are consuming fire I worship you I walk with you in this fire consuming all the things that are in my path I worship you in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today.